Hey guys, so tonight's gonna be my last night in Kenloops, and yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow, and I'm going back home to Taiwan. So as you can see, I've already packed most of my things up. Yeah, it's just still something needs to organize, and yeah. So right now is 11.30 p.m. at night, and yeah. This is kind of sad, because um, I live in this house in for like 10 months, about 10 months, and yeah, it's my second home. And it's just kind of sad to leave this place. It's um, full of memory. Because of the pandemic, all of the flights from Kenloops to Vancouver is cancelled. So I have to take the plane from Kelowna Airport to Vancouver tomorrow. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so today is actually Easter. Easter Sunday. Yeah, and I got some uh, chocolate. Score chocolate. I have prepared some stuff to take with me on the trip. The disposable gloves, the disinfecting wipes, and some mask. And a raincoat. Last but not least, the eye protection to protect me from people's sneeze. So everything is ready and I hired somebody to drive me to <coughs> Kelowna and I'll take a plane from Kelowna to Vancouver and transfer to Taipei, which is my hometown. So. Let's wait for him. So now we're on our way to Kelowna. And this is the view of Hanlu City. And we have um, Ryan here, who's going to drive me to Hello. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, yeah Kenloops is a second home to me. Things have changed so fast. Four weeks ago, the spring break started. We never thought that it's gonna be our last time in school. Two weeks ago, most of the international students had gone home, including some of my friends. As a grade 12 student, it means our time at high school is over. The grad, prom, everything we dreamed about now can only stay in our imagination and will never come true. Going home is really a hard decision to be made. I have so many friends here and I also have a really good relationship with my host family. I hate to leave like this, so unexpectedly. Overall, it was one of the happiest year in my life, although it's ruined by the pandemic. Those happy moments will forever live in my memory.
Alright everyone, so we're in Kelowna International Airport right now and let's check in. So we're going to Vancouver now. As you can see, I'm wearing raincoat, mask, glasses. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard of flight 8421 to Vancouver. Works. Flight time is 31 minutes, this cruising up to 20,000 feet. My name is Vivian. I've ever I'm done. working with my wonderful colleague Josie. We are in flight attendants. It takes about 40 minutes from Kelowna to Vancouver and there's only 10 people on plane. So, we're in Vancouver Airport, and that was my first flight that I just, um, by myself, first time, and, yeah, it's also the toughest, it's really hard to breathe in this mask. As you can see, there is also no one. Only a very few people in Vancouver Airport. Let's tour around the airport. There is really no one. Stay here for five hours and there is no one. There's some artworks. Holy shit. By the way, I'm going to show you my Easter dinner. I mean, there's no store open, so I cannot have anything. This is the only food I got. Easter dinner. Just having my dinner. There's no... I mean, every, every store is closed. Look. So I can only have some bars and chocolates for dinner. No. It's crazy. This is crazy. After six hours of waiting, I finally got on board. On my flight from Vancouver to Taipei, 
There is only around 20 passengers on the plane, so everyone can take the whole row as they wish. Comfortable and safe. Now, let's go home for prison. 